Hey guys, I Dubai Self here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to share with you guys some hidden tricks and features on your iPhone that you probably did not know exist or things that you probably did not know you can do on your iPhone. Now, some of these are going to be exclusive to iOS 13 and some may also be found in iOS 12. Now, I want to start with copying and pasting text. In iOS 13 and also iOS 12, you can copy and paste text. Very simple, just like that. Let's say we're in notes and jump into notes and we want to paste this text here. We can paste it, of course, as always. Now, if you press and hold the delete button, it'll start deleting the text. But if you use three fingers and swipe to the left, this would actually delete the entire text right here, just like so. And you can use three fingers to swipe back and bring it back. So you can do that over and over to copy and paste text directly into notes or into messages. Now in iOS 13, Apple changed the volume HUD, of course, and we're all happy that that happened. But did you know you can actually grab the volume HUD from the side just like so and control it even across the display just like so? So when you have the volume HUD, you can actually use your hands and your fingers here to interact with it. So you don't have to just press here over and over and over. You can actually do this up and down. Now this next one helps you scroll through pages a lot faster and also applications. So if we're scrolling through an app and you have to scroll and scroll and scroll, you see the little scroll bar here, you can actually tap and grab it and scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. It makes everything a lot faster and easier to work with. And this also works inside of applications. So for example, here in settings, you can also grab it and go up and down just like so. So very neat trick. Now we all know in messages, we can actually tap on the camera here, take a picture or a video or a slow motion video. Any option is available here for the camera, but did you know that when you're in video or slow motion, you can actually go to the top of the screen here and change the video resolution and frame rate as well. So right there it is, HD 30 frame, 4K, there it is. You can change the actual frame rate and resolution directly in the camera extension in messages. So you don't have to go to the actual settings to do that. Did you know that in iOS 13, you can actually go into the app store and delete an app update? I know a lot of you guys have asked about this, but yes, you can delete an app update and prevent updating an application. Sometimes apps do update and we don't necessarily like the updates. So you can actually go into your profile in the app store. If you have app updates turned off, you'll see all your updates listed here and you can actually swipe to the left and delete that update before the app is updated so you don't have to update to the latest. Just in case you don't like the latest update, you can prevent that from happening. Now there's a new setting here for Siri and search where Siri can announce and read any message to you. However, if you go to announce messages from, this is on contacts only. You can change that to favorite, recent, contacts, or everyone. So I recommend everyone. So every text message that comes in, when you're using your AirPods, Siri can actually read the messages to you. You don't have to actually wait or get your phone out of your pocket or stop what you're doing so you can actually go in there again that's going to be under siri search and announce messages with siri you have your airpods on tag everything right here and you'll see all your messages will be read by siri and last but not least i want to talk about audio sharing with multiple headphones two airpods here for example so let's say I'm in the music platter here in Control Center. I'm playing some music. Of course, the volume is down due to copyright, but I'm playing some music here and I want to listen to music on my brand new AirPods. Well, I can open the AirPod case. Of course, both AirPods must be connected to the same device. Go ahead and select the AirPods that you're listening to or want to listen to with, and you can listen to the music directly on AirPods. Now, one thing you can do is head on over to settings and make sure when you go to Bluetooth that you have another set of AirPods connected. So go back to Bluetooth. If you have a second pair, maybe a friend wants to listen to the same song, open the other pair of Bluetooth headsets right here, or the AirPods in this case, make sure they're connected, click on connect. And now both AirPods will be connected to the same iPhone. And now we can go to control center and actually see both AirPods here connected. So let's go to the music platter, go and select the second pair. And this should have both pairs selected at the same time. You can control the volume just like that. And as I mentioned, you can go to control center volume HUD and actually control the volume individually for both sets of AirPods. This is a really cool feature. It's called audio sharing and it's now available on the latest iOS 13. And these are all the features that I wanted to share with you guys, features and tricks on iPhones that you probably did not know exist. If you like videos like this, make sure to click the like button so I can film more for you guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.